Good morning, church. Welcome back to our daily devotion insight. Today, I'm going to continue on the devotion entitled How to Move Forward Successfully. Take initiative. We said that before. And then we said take, a, take action and learn from your failure and keep moving forward. Today, I'm going to share the last three pointers. That is number four, change your mindset. Change your mindset. Does risk scare you? Are you discouraged by past failures? Do you see the potential that opportunity offers? You won't be able to move forward until you discover what is holding you back. Remember this. Proverbs 29 verse 25 says, Fearing people is a dangerous trap. But trusting the Lord means safety and shall be safe. Fearing people, people who are always constantly in fear, dare not do this, dare not do that, will not do this, will not go there, will not try this, will not try that in their life. As a Christian, they would not be able to move forward. Fear is a dangerous trap. And when you begin to see your fear as a trap, you will want to be free from them. If you begin to see fear is a trap that you can be in and it can keep you where you are, you know what? You will want to be free. A lot of people don't realize that fear trap them. But when you see that it is a trap, you want to be free. If you don't see it as a trap, it become a bondage and you get stuck. All right? That's point number four. To be know how to successfully move forward, change your mindset. Number five. Don't wait for opportunity to come or to knock. Don't wait for opportunity to knock. Opportunity seldom comes knocking. Seldom. It, do, it does come, but seldom. You have to look for it. Most people who look for it are successful. Assess your assets, your talents, and your resources. Doing so will give you a picture of your potential. But... I do, uh, but I don't have any special talents, you say. Yes, you do. Why? Because God said every one of us has a special talent, has resource, and also have asset. We have a past experience that God has helped us go through that we can be a better person tomorrow, today, as well as tomorrow. You know, and uh, uh, the, the Bible tells us in Romans chapter 12, verse 6, he says this, God has given each of us a different gift to us. One more time. God has given each of us, God has given each of us has a different gifts. Amen. So remember, don't wait for opportunity to come, to knock. Number six, take the next step. Take the next step if you want to move forward successfully. It's one thing to notice an opportunity, it's another to act on it. Somebody once, one, somebody once said, everyone has a great idea in the shower room, but only a few people step out, dry it off, dry it off, and then do something about it. You know, when you come out from the shower room with all those thoughts, with all those dreams and all those vision you have, what are you going to do about it? Don't keep it in the toilet or the shower room, but walk out and do something about it. Choose the best opportunity you see in life. Pray about it. Do the best with it that you can and keep going until you have done everything possible to make it happen. It requires hard work, risk, daringness, and belief and trust in God. And when you have done your best, Trust God to do the rest. One more time. If you have done your best with all your ability and all your strength and all your time, trust God to do the rest. God wants us to do our part and He will come and help us when we have done our part to do the rest, the rest of the work that needs to be done. Amen? So Winston Churchill said, Courage is rightly esteemed of the first of human quality. One more time. Courage is rightly esteemed of the first of human qualities because it is the quality which guarantees all others. Because it is the quality which guarantees all others. 
And where does courage comes from? God. Courage comes from God. How do we know? Isaiah 26 verse 4 says, Trust in the Lord God always, for in the Lord Jehovah is your everlasting strength. Hallelujah. He is your everlasting strength and help. Your part, my part, is to trust in Him always. Amen. So we have finished this thing on, this topic on how to move forward successfully. So you want to move forward successfully? Let us do that. Remember these steps, you know, uh, to work on. One, take the initiative. Number two, take action. Number three, learn from your failures and keep moving forward. Number four, change your mindset from a negative mindset when I can't, uh, 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 fearful mindset trap there change it to a more positive number five don't wait for opportunity to knock at the door of your life take the next step take the next step meaning act upon it act upon it what you want to do in your life and for your life in the Lord Jesus Christ Amen. Let's pray. Father, we pray that you strengthen and bless every one of us. Help us to learn to walk with you. Walk forward. Move forward successfully in our lives. All this we pray as you bless us. Help us. Protect us. Spur us on to follow you and to walk with you successfully. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you and you have a great day.